Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Um, in today's video, we are going to be cash stuffing and doing a bill exchange as well as I'll be showing you all my new releases at the end of this video and all of the updates that are be that will be coming to my shop this coming Monday. Um, so if you guys like cash stuffing videos, bill exchanges, and might be interested in what new is happening in my shops, then go ahead and stay tuned. But before we get started, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Leave me a comment down below and let's get started. All right, y'all. So this is my weekly check-in for um, week three of June. I did go over in my home envelope that leaves me less to work with for the last week. Um, everything else was in budget except for, I think, with the going over a little bit up here in my groceries budget it leaves me with 59 for the last week of june instead of 60 so i'll be like a dollar over but um that is about all for the check-in these will be the amounts that i'm giving myself for the last week of this month i don't have any money left over in my envelopes except for my um beauty envelope i have not spent that yet but I do plan on going to the um, nail salon tomorrow for a pedicure and a wax. So that'll be tomorrow. So um, in the last week of June, that beauty envelope should be close to empty. So to expedite the time of this video, because I have a lot to do, I will not be um, counting in my sinking funds like I usually do so I'm hoping that'll speed the time up and that we can um, go ahead and get to all the good stuff um, eating out is going to get 40 this week because my little cousin graduated from college and we are going out to eat um, this weekend home is going to get 10 instead of 15 so i will have a five left over over here that i'm going to put back in the bank medicine is getting 10. beauty is not going to get anything and i do have i believe a couple receipts um that i'm gonna scan for fetch rewards all right y'all so like i stated earlier i'm not going to be writing on the trackers or um counting so that i can get through this so the video is not too long birthday is getting a 20. business is getting 15. And I know y'all like to see me write, uh, write stuff down and count. And I'm like, okay, I've never done this before. Just like stuff it in. But I figured I didn't want a 45 minute video, 50 minute video. So outings is going to get 10. And I was trying to consider like if I do the new release well I am doing the new releases today and I was like well when am I gonna do the bill exchange because I don't like my envelopes to get that big or that thick and I just decided to condense it all in one video so LASIK is getting 10 this will be the thousand dollars that I end up exchanging today y'all for the 1k slip car maintenance is getting 25 Miscellaneous 10. Travel is getting um, 50. Gifts is getting 10. Mm -hmm. 
medical is going to get 20. And I'm not going to stuff anything in church. So I'll be back with the zipper envelope. Okay, y'all. So invest is going to get two dollars. So one, two. Electronics is going to get 15. And I think I might have put a 10 somewhere where I should have put like fives because I usually do 10 and five, but I don't have a 10. So I'm just going to do three fives and stick that in there. Hopefully it doesn't mess me up too much with the exchange, but I don't know. Emergency is getting a five. Giveaways is getting three. I also don't think I mentioned this earlier, but I will have timestamps down below. Yeah, giveaways is getting three. I had some twos hanging out behind the fives. I was like, wait. <laughs> but yeah, guys, so I'll have timestamps down below um, if I haven't mentioned that already. Taxes is getting a five. This is a buffer taxes envelope um not my main taxes christmas is also getting a five Functions is not getting anything, and then future is gonna get two. One, two. And I have that five left over again from home, so that I'm gonna put that back in the bank because if I use that, that puts me over budget. So that's going back in the bank. And next, y'all, I'm gonna do a little bill exchange. All right, y'all, so let's get to the exchange. Birthday is not getting anything. So I have 4, 20, 40, 60, 461. Business is going to be getting a 50 and a 10. So 20, 30, 40, 50. And then two fives for a 10. So we have $60 in business. Outings will be getting a 20, 10, 15, 20. We can get a 10 too, but I guess I don't have a 10. Or let me put this, there we go. Put this to the side <laughs> and grab a 10. So we have 31 in outings. LASIK is going to be getting a 1K slip. So in LASIK, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 900, 50, 70, 80, 90, 1,000, and 1,010. So I'm going to take out this 1,000 and put in this 1K slip. So in LASIK, we have 1,010. Car maintenance is going to get 50, 20, 40, 45, and 50. Miscellaneous is going to get 40. So 10, 20, 30, and 40. So we have 90 in miscellaneous. Travel is going to be getting 200, 51, 52. So in travel, 
I have 1, 2, 300, 320, 330, 331. Gifts is going to get a 50. 10, 20, 30, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. And I like to keep the better looking bills. So yeah. So travel, I mean, um, not travel gifts has $54. This envelope is going to be gone by the end of this weekend. Medical is getting a 50 and a 20. So 20, 40, 50. And 10, 20. For 50, 70, 1, 2, 3, and 4. 74. And that's it for these envelopes. It's much smaller, much more compact. I'm going to go ahead and grab the zipper envelopes. All right, so Invest is going to get a five. So one, let's see, one, two, three, four, and five. So in invest, I have $18. Electronics is going to get 140. So 50, 70, 80, 90, 1. And 10, 5, 10, 15, 20. 5, 10, 15, 20. So electronics has $242. Emergency is getting a 20. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. So in emergency, we have 1,150, 70, 75, 76, 77, 78. So 1,178. Giveaways is also getting a 20. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. which the giveaway is coming y'all. I promise. Remember I told y'all after, so I had a sale in April. I had a new launch of planners in May and then I have my new releases in June. So remember I said after all of that, the giveaway is coming. So it is. Taxes is getting a 25, take these five, five, 10, 15, 20. And in the buffer taxes envelope, we have $45. Christmas is also getting a 20. So 5, 10, 15, 20. And we have $125 in Christmas. Functions is going to get a $100 slip. And I'm going to put this money in the bank because I'm done with this envelope. So 50, 70, 90, 95, 100. I'm going to put that over here and give this a 1K slip. I mean, um, 100 slip. So, and because I don't plan to use this money, y'all, until the holidays, that's why I'm taking it out of this envelope because I don't plan on using it. And when I need it, I'll just deduct it from the bank. Future is going to get a five. So one, two, three, four, and five. 
and we have 18 in future. So that is going to conclude the bill exchange, the cash stuffing and the bill exchange. The remainder of this video guys will be dedicated to my new releases and my shop updates. I hope that you will stay tuned and check it out. Other than that, next week we'll be back to my regular method of stuffing. I hope that you guys enjoyed this little um, faster, quicker way. And I hope that you have a great weekend. So today is officially the sneak peek day um to see the new releases that are going to be in the shop as well as i'm going to be giving y'all the updates um for what will be coming up in the shop so if you're interested in seeing what's new in my shop and what's changing then stay tuned so before we get into the new products and changes in the shop I do want to talk about why these changes are happening and I have some notes here on the side that I'll be looking on so that I stay focused so um, as y'all know I have two shops I have my website as well as my Etsy shop um, and although it has been a blessing financially for me to have both shops it is becoming more and more difficult to um, manage both shops like keep customers happy <laughs> on both shops which y'all are amazing like I don't really have issues but um, it's just becoming a little bit much for me to keep both shops going with the way that things are set up now I've considered closing Etsy keeping the website um, closing the website keeping Etsy and right now I just haven't really decided um, there are pros and cons to using both platforms and now that i operate on both platforms i truly can see what's the pros of a website what's the cons of having your own website the pros of etsy the cons of etsy um so while i can't decide on what i'm going to do exactly with having both of those if i'm going to keep them or close one or whatever my goal right now is to begin minimizing made to order products or um, handmade products, if you will. Um, it is very time consuming. Y'all know it's a long processing time and I run my shops full time as of right now. Um, and overall, this is just not where I want my business to be in the long run. I want to be able to manage growth. I want to expedite my shipping. So this is going to lead to me having more products in the shop that are manufactured or mass produced. Um, my long term goal is to eventually have my shop or shops, both of them, if I still have them um, at 100 percent like manufactured and mass produced products. That is my long term goal. I don't know um how long this is going to take or what it's going to look like but this is where we're starting so first let's talk about the website what's changing and what's staying on there so for my website which is allthingsplanco.com um that website is mainly staying the same the big difference that's happening on that website is that all paper envelopes except for my white script and my marble envelopes will be gone so the pink dark pink nude pink white purple blue um rose gold all of those envelopes will, will be gone the only things that will stay will be my white script which i have um powder pink baby pink berry pink this is the a6 size and then of course i have the a7 in powder pink baby pink and berry pink so these will be the uh, paper envelopes that stay active on the website as well as my marble envelopes i don't have an a7 on me um, but A7 will stay in the shop as well as A6. And then of course, y'all can either get the tape label or the printed label, whichever one you choose. Um, but those are the only paper envelopes that will be staying in the shop. All of my zipper envelopes, both A6 and A7 size will stay in the shop with all their colors. Um, my pocket planners, my A6 planners, sticky notes, which are out of stock, but I will be getting those back soon. All of those will stay in the shop. Um, so my website will be the place that has um, the mostly like handmade or made to order products. Also the reference cards. So these envelopes, white script marble, the zipper envelopes, all planners, sticky notes, 
and the reference cards will stay on the website. Okay, so for the Etsy shop, these planners, um, binders, whatever you call them, I like to call them planners because I'm a planner girl, but these are already on the Etsy shop, so they will remain. I will be bringing the Pebble pocket planners to the Etsy shop. There are not many of them left, but I just decided to go ahead and split the inventory and put them on both platforms because moving forward, when I buy a new round, I will put both on, I will put them on both the Etsy shop and the website. Um, I will also have defected planners on there. So I know the last time I had defected planners on there and I sold them for like $10, $15. Um, you know, I, I had several people that were interested in those because they are still functional, even though there are, are some defects. So I will have defected pocket planners on the Etsy shop as well as um, defected a6 planners now i don't have any defected pinks all of my pinks were good but i do have some defected blacks and again they will they they will be on there at a discounted price and you'll get to see that on the etsy shop okay and also on the etsy shop all zipper envelopes um a6 and a7 with all their colors will remain on the etsy shop um sticky notes will remain on the etsy shop and all paper envelopes and reference cards will no longer be on the Etsy shop. So they are completely going away. And what will be the primary product on Etsy are going to be um, budget planner stickers. Okay, y'all, so planner stickers was the original vision of all things plan, hence the name. <laughs> um, that was my original vision for the business when I started this whole journey um, and I got into the budget community which I am both a planner and a budgeter I've been planning since probably 2009 I've been managing money since before I even was able to have a job like just little funds I would get you know for holidays and birthdays and stuff um, so I ended up deciding to go the budget route and I'm glad that I did um, however as far as it comes to my shops I do want to uh, get back to the original vision for my shop. I was um, very afraid for a long time to take on the task of learning how to make stickers. Um, it is a very, uh, it can be very daunting, I'm not gonna lie. Like just, it's a big learning curve, I would say that. It is, you know, I started selling envelopes in the shop because it was just so much easier to learn and all you need is paper, laminate, know the measurements you're good to go stickers on the other hand are very different so i was really afraid for a long time but you know with god all things are possible and i just decided to say a prayer and like okay lord you know let's just go forward with this this is the vision that we have and it's time for me to overcome this fear and get to it so um the stickers that i'm going to show you are already made they are ready to ship um, going the sticker route definitely is going to drastically minimize that handmade factor that I was talking about earlier um, that's just so time consuming. Um, so that's another reason why I'm excited to go this route as well as like I said, they are already ready to ship. So these stickers are already made y'all when they go live on Monday, they're in stock, they're ready to go. And this is what I mean by having manufactured and mass produced products in the shop. You know, like with my planners, uh, my vendor and I design or come up with what design we want to do and the vendor manufactures them. As far as stickers, uh, I design them, but it is the printers and the cutting machines that are actually making them. So um, drastically reducing the handmade factor. So for stickers, I have used the Erin Condren 7x9 monthly planner to design my stickers. Um, so the calendar and the dashboard stickers that I will show you are specific to the Erin Condren planner, but the other stickers that are also seven by nine can fit any seven by nine planner. Um, I've been using Erin Condren planners since 2014 and this is my current planner. I know I'm zoomed in, so I don't know if y'all can see it, but this is a seven by nine Erin Condren monthly planner. This is the planner that I use to make the stickers. Um, 
So I've been, again, I've been using Erin Condren planners since 2014. I love them. I became an affiliate marketer for Erin Condren um, back in 2020. And um, so yeah, I'm excited to use those. Um, Tori, we follow each other here on Instagram. She's um, Erin's brand director. So hey, Tori girl, if you see this. Um, but yeah, so let's get to the stickers. Say hey, y'all, so these are my August budget stickers that I have designed. I went with a butterfly theme, um, kind of some pastel colors with the peach, the pink, um, this light teal color. So you'll get your washi, all of your budgeting strips, as well as two um, striped thin deco washi strips. And I have been playing with this and pulling the stickers up so that they look like they're not fitting in. That's the reason why. So I also have paycheck stickers. So this will be paycheck one. You have paycheck two, three, four, and five. Next, I have my sinking funds stickers as well as transaction log, saving tracker, debt tracker. For the debt one, you get debt tracker and debt snowball, depending on which one you want to use. And then an additional, um, an additional, you'll have an additional script for if you want to use that one or not. Um, and a weekly check-in, which y'all know I show these in my videos all the time, my reels, my TikToks. So this will be my weekly check-in. And last for the budget kit are gonna be the bill due stickers and the expense stickers. So all this is considered the budget kit or the August budget kit. Um, now all of these will be listed. They, they will all have a separate listing. So you'll be able to go in and choose what you want you may not want all of this you may not need all of this so whichever ones you like the most um, is the ones that you can choose so they will be listed in the Etsy shop a la carte so next we have uh, monthly stickers these are not budget specific but they're just for your calendar some people like to tie it all in together and have like a whole complete look in their planner so I have event stickers I have a deco page it has some flags some dots um, some boxes next I have the August calendar so again y'all this is specific to the Erin Condren 7x9 um, if you have other planners happy planner 7x9 or anything like that um, I am not for certain that this will fit those um, so this is for the Erin Condren 7x9 monthly planner you get your washi strips and your date dots and then the last thing I have are going to be the dashboard pages. So these will fit those three boxes that she has at the top of the dashboard, as well as a monthly script um, sticker that you can place on top. And then I have the bottom dashboard box that will fit that bottom um, box that she has in her planners. And I decided to leave these boxes blank. I know some people put lines and different things, but I left mine blank because I just felt like I like a blank canvas. I like to be able to do whatever I want to do in the planners, which is why I use her monthly planner because it's just line pages. There's not anything pre-filled in for me and I like planners like that. So I felt like with keeping these blank, you know, if you wanted to put boxes on here, flags, dots, whatever you want to put you can put on there so these are the monthly stickers okay y'all so my next set of stickers um tie into the the butterfly theme for the month of august but it is not month specific so like the calendar and things like that that says august none of these uh, stickers say that so first up i have a business budget i if y'all have watched my last couple of youtube videos i've been talking to you guys about wanting to be more detailed with my business budget, I'm very detailed with my personal budget, but I need to get better with this. So um, I was inspired by some other shop owners to um, come up with business budget stickers. So this is what I will be using to um, track my business budget. You can also use this for a side hustle and anything like that that you may have going on. Now, once the month of August is over, 
I don't really plan on retiring kits. Um, I just plan on making them more universal instead of month specific. So once the month of August is over, I will take out the August, the sticker that says August budget and replace it with the sticker that says monthly budget. So that way, anybody who may run across this in a later month um, that wants to use it, you'll have this option. It'll just say monthly budget instead of August. Next, I have some washi strips um, just for extra deco if you want. So I have two thick strips at the top, butterfly, and then I have thin striped, two thin striped washi strips, and then two medium um, butterfly strips. And then last, just like the calendar that I showed you guys that said August at the top, I have a blank one as well for anyone who sees it later and wants to use it and it's not the month of August, you can use the blank calendar. All right, so next we have some additional monthly stickers and additional budget stickers that are not specific. You know, these are not uh, seven by nine or anything like that. So I have some no spin stickers here in the skinny font. Y'all know I love the skinny font. All of my um, <laughs> all of my envelopes are the skinny font. I'm just obsessed with that font. But yeah, so I have some no spin stickers in the skinny font. Um, again, y'all, I've been picking at these stickers, so these are not going, I'm not selling these, these are for me. So um, then I have payday stickers as well in the skinny font. Next, I have the dashboard header scripts. Um, now, you don't have to use these for the dashboard if you don't want to. These are just scripts, you can use these for anything. But you know, if you do buy the dashboard and you want like some scripts to go with it, you know, if you wanted to put like label this important or up there, that that would be what these scripts can be used for. But again, these scripts are universal. You can use them for anything. Next, I have some additional budget icons. So you get a calculator, um, a piggy bank, credit card icon, two cash icons, as well as five cash envelope icons that could go on like each um, the one day of the week that you may do your cash stuffing with a couple of payday and no spend stickers. Next, I have um, paycheck scripts. So, you know, you may want to kind of do your own setup for your paychecks in your planner or just, you know, label your paychecks or something and you don't necessarily want the whole like butterfly kit paycheck scripts. The next set of scripts are going to be um, just some monthly scripts, which I have two of them. And again, they are, they can be used universally. So the reason why I created them was to match the Erin Condren set that I had going on, but they can be used universally. So let's say you buy the dashboard and it's not the month of August and you don't wanna use it for the month of August you know, you could use it for another month. So I have my script here and I could put the month of July up there and it fits, not fits, um, it matches the dashboard header scripts. So I just tried to think of like everything that y'all may need and anything that I felt like I needed or would need if I was trying to put my planner together, I thought of it and created it. Okay, so the monthly calendar scripts are for these blank calendars. Again, these are universal. They can be used for anything, um, but I made them with these kits in mind. So instead of having August up there, you could put your month up there. And so that was the purpose of these um, calendar scripts they are a little bit bigger so i would recommend them for seven by nine or eight and a half by eleven planners and then last i have budget scripts and these are just scripts they're not anything specific for any specific planner or anything like that these are just some scripts if you want to write some things down check some things off i have these here so i just tried to think of everything that could be possibly be needed um, if you guys were interested in purchasing them 
and so I have one more set of stickers to show these are the last set of stickers that I'm gonna show y'all um, or that I have made so every single month along with making new budget kits um, which y'all don't have to worry like if I'm gonna keep up with it or anything like that like y'all I have I already have my designs from now up until February of 2023 I've go I've gone ahead and um mapped out my planner for the rest of this year so I'll know when to make stickers when to cut when like everything so I already have sep September stickers created and those will be released next month in July so um y'all don't have to worry about that but along with coming out with new designs or new budget kits every month I also want to come out with icons so again these are universal they can be used in any planner the majority of my stickers um will be able to be used universally um like i said the seven by nine stickers they can go in any seven by nine planner so the only things that are specific would be my ec calendar specific for aaron condren's calendar and the dashboard but everything else can either be used in like any seven by nine planner or you know scripts and icons can be used in any planner so y'all know i'm on my exercise journey and i've been exercising consistently now for three months so um i appreciate those of you that have like reached out to me and let me know that it's inspired you to start working out so i decided to create some workout stickers so these are my girls they are um cyclers i have them in three skin tones brown olive and fair skin tone and um you can see they pull off pretty easily i'm excited to use this even if you're not a cycler this can just represent a workout day for you maybe at the gym or something like that so every month i will be coming out with some type of icon sticker along with the budget stickers so these will all be in the etsy shop the stickers will not be on the website um simply because like i said the stickers are ready to ship so i've printed and cut a certain amount of each in order to in order for me to keep up with inventory right now i just want to have them on one platform so my um more so handmade products again reference cards a few paper envelopes left will be on the website on the etsy shop we are mainly doing budget planner stickers planner stickers along with the zipper envelopes and the pocket and a6 planners so that is what is new in the shop. Um, I have gotten tons of requests for this cash envelope tray and this is my next project. I will be working on creating these, but again, they will be made in advance and ready to ship by the time they go live. Um, I just have to figure out how to ship them. I bought this so long ago that I don't remember how it was shipped to me. So if y'all have any ideas, let me know down below. But yeah, so thank y'all again. I hope the video was not too long. I hope you enjoyed it. And um, the website will be back up with envelopes on the 27th. And then the budget stickers, the Etsy shop revamp will be live also on the 27th. I'm thinking probably 9 a.m. So I'll let y'all know. Thank y'all again so much and have a great weekend.